It's time to make an HSS tutorial. Let's go. Part one, making your character. Pop into the character editor. Click this button until you see the HSS preset appear. Choose female or male. Customize your appearance to your liking. As for the stats, do whatever you want, but I suggest you bring the blade points as low as possible because you're now shooting bullets, so you're wasting your points if you're just putting them into the actual blades. Once you're satisfied with how your character looks like, make sure to click on the drop down menu in order to save into one of the custom character slots and then make sure to press on save and then on quit in order to go back to the main menu. Part two, movement and camera. The movement and camera is basically the same as what you use for uh, the 3DMG for blades. Now, for the camera, I really suggest they use TPS, which is called third person shooter. Uh, the reason why you need it is because you're shooting, the, your character shoots where your cursor is at. So you're aiming with your cursor and if you're trying to use it with WoW or the original cam, goodness gracious, it's going to give you a god darn nausea. It's, oh, it's painful. So save yourself the hassle, just use the TPS for HSS. It's a lot easier to learn. It's a lot more uh, easy to control. Now, part three, how do you attack? Now, it's, it's fairly simple, uh, but it requires a bit of practice. So you see the Tyne, you see you. You fly towards the Tyne. You hook anywhere in this circle. You reel out, you turn the camera to face the nape, you reel in, you shoot the gun. Now if you press the normal attack, it shoots one bullet. If you press the special attack, it shoots two bullets. The only difference is that the double shots gives more damage and has a longer range. Single shot, shorter range, less damage, but you have an additional shot if you need to do a second shot in case you missed. Now you might be wondering what the hell is reel in and what the hell is reel out. I'll teach you what they are, but also teach you how to set them up. So in order to set them up, go to menu, go to your keybind configuration, go to this button, press on the press on the drop down menu, click on humans, scroll down, and this you'll click on uh, basically click on the button to assign any keybind you'll like to. Now this is for the most updated version of RC. Reeling allows you to quickly shorten your wires and close the gap between where your hooks are and where your avatar is. And Relay allows you to elongate the, your wires, allowing you to dodge obstacles or to reposition yourself in case you just miss your target. You want to note that in terms of killing Tynan, it is important to note that you as an HSS player have minimum amount of speed required in order to successfully kill a Tynan. And Blade Years don't have this. And now Blade Years, they're laughing in the background saying, hey, you know, we can just nape click and just hook on a nape and just kill them, whereas, you know, we HSS can't. But guess what? HSS has a longer range, and therefore it allows a little bit more flexibility in terms of gameplay. And this is what I'm going to show you in terms of approaches that you can take in the next part. Part 4, Strategy to Kill Titans. Now, you saw the standard method of killing Titans. You hood the Titans, you fly towards the Titan, you reel out, turn your camera, you reel in, you shoot, and you repeat. Now, you can also be flexible and play around because you have more range. So what you can do is you can do something that we call the blinding kill. You blind the Titan, and now it's, it's in agony. Yeah. Pain. Anyway, you gain some speed, and then you shoot the nape. Pretty easy. You can also do a cripple kill. So what you do is you shoot the legs of the Titan, you reload, you gain some speed, and then you shoot the nape. Make sure to, of course, hook the nape so you can actually go towards the nape. And also try to reel in, reel out, and try to control those and adjust to according to the situation. You can also do a flyby, so basically if a Titan is not aggro, uh, if it, you can do a flyby, so if a Titan is not aggro to you, you can basically just fly, shoot, and just keep flying. That's pretty cool. It's a drive-by, but AOTGG style. And these really work for Titans that are problematic. So if you're considering very small Titans, or heck, even punks, or or even just aberrants, those really work for those. Part five, strategies against crawlers. Oh God, may God have mercy on you if you're faced against crawlers because these sons of Titans are tough as fuck. They require a lot of training in order to kill them, but if you've seen the video of me in my 10 minute run against crawlers only, you have a general gist of the general idea, but over, uh, if you haven't seen it, don't worry, I'll explain it and break it down for you. So the overall, the method is, to do the following. You fly at a fairly low speed and a fairly low height. Not too low, not too high, just right above the tines and the crawl's head. If you fly too low, you get eaten. If you fly too high, you also get eaten. Now, make sure that you and a crawler are basically approaching together at like a relative strain line position. And you fly there, you try to control your speed not too fast because you'll need as much time as possible, but also enough speed 
you know, the kill time. And then right, you're right above the crawler's head, you want to turn your camera down, and you try to basically guess where the nape is. And then you use your double shot because it has a longer range. You can use single shot so you have a second try, but I suggest you heavily use the double shot for its longer range. You shoot down. If you've done it right, you should uh, the crawler should be dead. Now, if you don't, just repeat and repeat and repeat, and eventually it's going to be dead. Now, this is different than the tree hugging method that the, the um, blade users tend to use. Fortunately, the HS player is not confined to such slow methods of killing titans, so to say. Alright, part 6, conclusion. Oh well, what do you want? I really don't have anything to add. If you still have questions, yeah, feel free to ask them in the comments question below. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you uh, clarify us a little bit more about how to be an HSS player. Anyway, now go and practice and have some fun with the HSS, you know? If you've been playing Blades for a lot of time, it's about time you switch to the HSS. With that being said, Happy New Year. I'll see you later. Get down, you little